in a solid is the state of a plane stream right the xy coordinates of the corners of the undeformed triangle are given by so they have given you the coordinates for that that is coordinates of p q r s as p s 0 comma 0 q s 4 comma 0 r s 4 comma 3 and s s 0 comma 3 okay the rectangle is subjected to uniform strains they have given you some strains value i'm just writing it over here epsilon x is as equal to 0 0.001 epsilon y y which is equal to 0 0.002 and gamma xy which is also equal to 0 0.003 Great. now they are asking you the deformed length of the elongated diagonal up to 3 decimal unit very important line that is up to 3 decimal places they are asking you the deformed length of the elongated diagonal now guys this is a rectangle ok whatever they have given you the dimensions or whatever they have given you the coordinates it is based on the previous case that is before application of the load are getting it what i mean to say whatever the data is that is 0 comma 0 4 comma 0 4 comma 3 0 comma 3 that is based on before application of the force now what they are asking you Suppose we are applying this kind of stresses or this kind of, they are given you strain value. You can see like epsilon xs, epsilon yy and gamma, gamma xy. Okay. These are the values of the strains. Which means the load is applied and the diagonal is deformed or the rectangle is deformed in another shape. Okay. I would like to draw it. The, the rectangle might have deformed in this fashion. Can I say like this? The rectangle, assuming. I don't know how it is being deformed. Okay. I don't know how it has been deformed, but I am assuming that let us say that the rectangle has been deformed in this fashion and this is nothing but my what they are asking you elongated diagonal. They are asking you what is the length of the elongated diagonal. One of the very challenging sum I guess. This is one of the best sum which I have seen in the year 2017. This was asked in the gate 2017 for mechanical branch in set 1. And I can say this is one of the best sum in the entire uh, few questions which I have seen in that paper itself. Okay. So, how to tackle this sum first of all? So guys, uh, you might have learned a formula that is nothing but a formula of F sigma t, theta that is to find out the stress at some particular plane you have the formula sigma theta is equal to what we have the formula? sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos to theta plus tau xy by 2 sin to theta am i right you might have seen this formula i hope so now what i'm going to use is i'm going to write the stress this is the base of the stress formula right i need to write in the base of strain so i can say epsilon theta wherever what is the change happens in case of the strain the formula is almost same what you have to write whenever you see the sigma x you have to write it as epsilon xx wherever there is sigma y you have to write it epsilon y by by 2 plus over here it comes epsilon xx minus epsilon y by by 2 cos 2 theta that is still remaining same okay i am sorry this is just tau x y the formula is sigma theta plus is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta plus tau x y sin theta over here wherever there is a tau x y over there it comes gamma x y by 2 the formula will be plus gamma x y by 2 sin to theta ok so this is the formula to find out the strain at any particular plane means what is this formula this formula is nothing but a particular angle theta at that plane suppose I am applying you can understand over here so this is my sigma x and applying sigma y and sigma y over here can you see the load as sigma x on both the side and sigma one on the both side and suppose I need to find a stress at particular angle okay at some particular plane not on this plane not on this plane I need to find the stress at some other plane let's say an angle theta so this will be the stress acting on that plane will be denoted as sigma theta and for that we have the formula over here okay and suppose you have the shear stress also in that case 
What is shear stress? Like this kind of node, that is Tl tau xy and tau xy. So this is the general formula to find out the stress at any plane. Okay. I have just written the strain formula for that. That is nothing but absolute theta. What I had done? Just replace sigma x by epsilon x. Replace sigma y by epsilon y by. Same over here. And whenever you find tau x y, you have to replace it by gamma x y by two. So from there you get the formula of absolute theta. You will be asking me, sir, why? Why I need to find epsilon theta? My dear student, what is epsilon theta? That is nothing but strain on that plane. What is that is nothing but strain on that plane. What is strain? What is strain? I can can't I write epsilon theta is also equal to change in length of that plane upon original length. Suppose this is nothing but my final length, okay? And this is nothing but my original length. What is strain? Change in length upon original length. So if I find for epsilon theta, the value of epsilon theta, what is delta in this case? Can't I write L2 minus L1? Am I right? I can write L2 minus L1 upon L1. What is L2? You have to find it out. From this entire series, I hope you I hope this part is clear, right? Now I am talking about this part. This part is nothing but epsilon theta. Is what actually? What is epsilon theta? Strain at that plane. Okay. So I need to find the strain at this plane. Okay. So I need a formula for that. I just find out the value of sigma theta. So from this formula, you know sigma x, you know sigma y y, you know an angle. You will be finding out the angle also. So you know everything, and you will get the value of epsilon theta. So once you get the value of epsilon theta, we know we know the basic formula of strain. That is change in length upon original length. What is change in length in this case? The deformed length. This is the deformed figure, brother. This is the deformed figure. So the deformed length. Minus original length upon the original length that is L2 minus L1 upon so L1. So L2 is equal to L2 minus L1 upon L1. So I hope you get an idea like why I need to say that you need to understand epsilon. You need to remove epsilon theta. That is nothing but your strain. Because once you get the value of epsilon theta, that is strain in that plane, then I can easily remove that is nothing but a deformed length of the diagonal. Let's go for it. I will remove the formula that is sigma theta, which is not required as of now. I just wanted to show you how you can remember the formula of sigma theta and how you can recollect back your epsilon theta without gratifying the formula. Okay, let's go ahead. I know the values of epsilon x. I know the value of epsilon y y from the numerical point of view. Um, I also know the value of sigma x. But the challenging part is that I don't know the value of theta. Let's come back to the original rectangle. This is nothing but your original rectangle. Before the application of any load, the rectangle was of this shape. Okay. So what is the angle theta over here? How can you find it? Very easy. You know the value of the base part that is P cube. That is nothing but four. You know the value of Q R. That is nothing but I can say it's three. So what is the length? What will be the length of P R? Very easy. I can find out the length of P R. I am just removing the main part which is not required so that your board will be very much clear to you people. Uh, this part that is nothing but I know that P Q is how much? P Q is four. Okay, my Q R is three. So obviously my P R that is nothing but the total length, the undeformed length, diagonal length that is P R will be equal to under root of P Q square plus Q R square. So that is nothing but under root of four square plus three square. That is 16 plus 9, under root of 25. That is 5. Okay. From there, I can find that I can tell that the original length of the rectangle was 5. Now I need to find the angle theta. Okay. Very simple. Go for tan theta. Tan theta is nothing but opposite upon adjacent. I can say it's 4 by 3. So theta, you will be getting tan inverse of 4 by 3. That is nothing but equal to 53.13. Degree. So from here, I can get the value of theta as 53.13 and my length as 5. Well, now what I can do? I know the value of epsilon x. I know the value of epsilon y. I will be just putting the values of epsilon x and epsilon y y and the value of gamma x y and the value of theta. And I will get the value of epsilon theta. Just let me put the values. My values are like 0.001 plus 0.002 by 2 plus epsilon x. That is 0.01. My double zero one minus zero point double zero two by two cos of two theta that is two times of fifty three 
0.13 plus gamma x y by 2 that is 0.003 by 2 sine of 2 into 53.13 from here I can get the value of epsilon theta as something around 0 0.003079 okay so this is the value of epsilon theta which I would be getting once I solve the entire part great I hope you know the concept like why I was trying to find out the epsilon theta because from that epsilon theta that is nothing but string I can find my what is the deformed length that is the final length let's go for it you know the value of epsilon theta from here now what is epsilon theta actually that is string right of what of that plane that is nothing but my diagonal why I am taking this theta why I need you to find it uh, theta that is 53.13 that is nothing but this plane is nothing but your diagonal plane so I can clearly say that now epsilon theta can also be written as delta L upon L am I right I can write epsilon theta as delta L by L that is nothing but change in length upon original length so guys change in length means it is getting a deformed so might be getting increased so I can say let us say L1 is the original length and L2 is the deformed length so I can say delta L will be L2 minus L1 upon L1 you know the value of epsilon theta you know the value of L1 that is nothing but 5 the original length so L1 is 5 L2 we can find and you know the value of epsilon theta that is nothing but 0 0.003079 and from here after solving you will get the value of deformed length as 5.015 unit okay so I guess they have yes it's units they are asking so it will be in terms of units amazing sum right so it's an amazing sum in the year 2007 when they asked it, it like you know this was like a numerical which hardly many people tried or I can say many people get the answer but I hope the concept was bit tricky to understand what they mean to say to find the formula that's it so from here what we recollected we recollected the formula of epsilon theta and we tried to even form the formula of epsilon theta by understanding the formula of sigma theta and from there we tried to form the formula of epsilon theta and from there we tried to find out what is the deformed length of the rectangle after the application of the rectangle 2016 set 3 was available kya bol hai a beam of length l is carrying a uniformly distributed load w per unit length theek hai dikh raha hai aapko diagram mein cantilever beam liya hai maine udl aapko spread kar diya uske upar theek hai the flexural rigidity of the beam is ei the reaction at the simple support at the right end apne ko bola hai ki bhai yahan pe ek roller hai barabar aap dikh rahe hain yahan pe ek roller diya hua hai ek roller hai yahan pe aur bola hai ki bhai yahan pe reaction kya hai ye dikha ye point pe reaction kya hai wo dikha raha hu aapko badhiya samajh ka dekho main iska aapko badhiya kyun bolunga kyunki agar aap normal apna apna summation of horizontal equal to 0 summation of vertical equal to 0 summation of moment equal to 0 aap isko apply karoge to aap is se sum solve nahi ho payega aapko ye sum aata hai department that is propped cantilever beam ye jo naam hai iska hai khud hi iska naam hai prop cantilever beam karke theek hai matlab kya hai ye normal aapka jo summation horizontal vertical moment se nahi ho payega aapko is special koi dimag lagana hai padega to special koi checking lagana padega ab yahan dekho ye sum usi se ho payega jisne deflection chapter ko bahut dil se kiya aur bahut achhi tarah se kiya hai matlab conceptually samjha hai आप डिप्रेशन को करते थे सब लोग ये बट करते क्या उसको सिर्फ न्यूमेरिकल पॉइंट में देखते आप आप सिर्फ उसके फॉर्मूले झटा मारते हैं ऑब्वियसली फॉर्मूले के बिना तो डिप्रेशन होगा ही नहीं बट आपको फॉर्मूले के साथ उसकी कांसेप्ट पे भी थोड़ा सा ध्यान देना अब यहां देखो अब मैं क्या करूंगा इसे तो इसे कैसे सॉल्व कर सकते हैं आप आप सिंपली क्या कर सकते हैं उसको मैं इसको हटा रहा जो भी अपना समेशन का तो पार्ट था आपने इसको रोलर को हटा दिया मान लेना मैंने अगर रोलर को हटा दिया बच्चों जैसे मैंने अपना रोलर को हटा दिया तो अब ये क्या हो रहा है नॉर्मल भी हो रहा है ठीक है ये लोड के वजह से क्या होगा ये डिफ्लेक्शन होगा कुछ बराबर की नहीं कुछ डिफ्लेक्शन होगा जिसको हम बोलते हैं डेल्टा इसका फॉर्मूला भी आपको पता रहेगा ये क्या है यूडीएल है यूडीएल बी विथ एन डिफ्लेक्शन क्या होगा एन डिफ्लेक्शन क्या रहेगा फॉर्मूला क्या है डब्ल्यू एल रेस टू फोर अपॉन ए टी है ठीक है मेरे बच्चा ये ही बात अगर आपने रोलर को हटा दी तो ये डिफ्लेक्ट होगा डिफ्लेक्शन का फॉर्मूला क्या रहेगा डब्ल्यू एल रेस टू फोर अपॉन ए टी है अब मैं क्या बोल रहा हूं अब मैं यहां से अगर कोई लोड लगाया अगर मैं इस बीम को वापस बना रहा हूँ बीम जो है आपका बेल्ट हो गया इस तरह से बना रहा है ठीक है अगर मैंने यहां से एक लोड लगाया ठीक है और उसको वापस ऊपर किया दैट इज अथिंग बट बाई रिएक्शन अगर ये रोलर आपका जो ऐसा जो स्ट्रक्चर है आपका आपने रोलर लगाया रिएक्शन क्यों आ रही है भाई इसको रोक रही है बीम को नीचे जाने से बराबर मैंने क्या बोला कि यहाँ डाल ये नीचे चला गया अब मैं क्या करूंगा रोलर को वापस लेकर आऊंगा मतलब क्या हुआ रिएक्शन डेवलप होगा मतलब मैं ऐसा बोल सकता की अब तू ध्यान से देखो मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ लोड लगा रहा है यहाँ से ठीक है 
ये लोड लगाओ यहां से बराबर की नहीं ये वापस ऊपर जाएगा जो भी डिफ्लेशन हुआ वो नॉर्मल वे पे यहां पे आके रुक जाएगा बराबर की नहीं ये क्या दिख रहा है आपको बच्चा अब यहां से देखो इसको उल्टा देखो क्या दिख रहा है वो ये है आपका फिक्स है यहां से आप लोड लगा रहे हो और क्या समझ रहे आप उल्टा देखो इसको उल्टा देख लो ये वहां जाके अंदर में लिख लो तो ये बनेगा कैसा ऐसा बनेगा बराबर एक लोड लगाया विद फ्री एंड कैंडीओर एक लोड लगाया बराबर की नहीं अब समझ रहे हैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ आपका जो डिफ्लेक्शन होगी डब्ल्यू एल रेस्ट फोर अपन एट है इसको आप कैसे रोक सकते हैं आप सीधा एक लोड लगा दो ये लोड क्या है अगर आप देखोगे स्ट्रक्चर अच्छी तरह से तो आपको दिखेगा इस तरह से बराबर दैट इज नथिंग बट ये जो डिफ्लेक्शन हुई उसको मैं वापस कर्व करूँ वापस लेके आया मतलब आप इसको हटा दिया जो आपका कर्व पार्टा हटा दिया वापस आपका बीम स्ट्रेट हो गया मीन्स आपने जो लोड लगाया दिख क्या रहा है दैट इज अ लोड विद और लोड अप्लाई एट द एंड ऑफ द कैंडीवर बीम पॉइंट लोड बराबर नहीं पॉइंट लोड आपने अप्लाई कर दिया समझ रहे कि नहीं आपने पॉइंट लोड अप्लाई कर दिया एट द एंड ऑफ द रिंग ताकि जो मेरा डिफ्लेक्शन हुआ उसको मैं कंपनसेट कर दिया समझ रहे कि नहीं डिफ्लेक्शन ड्यू टू यूडीएल इज कंपनसेटेड बाय अप्लाइंग एन एक्सटर्नल लोड इन एन ऑपोजिट मैनर दैट लोड इज नथिंग बट अ पॉइंट लोड एट द एंड ऑफ योर कैंडीवर रिंग समझा कि नहीं वापस समझा रहा हूं मैं आपने क्या निकाला रोलर हटा दिया जो भी आपका डिफ्लेक्शन का फॉर्मूला है w रे टू फोर अपॉन ए डी है अब मैं क्या बोल रहा हूं क्या है वो रिएक्शन रिएक्शन एक वर्टिकल फोर्स है तो मैं बोला कि कितना डिफ्लेक्शन आपको रोकना है वर्टिकल फोर्स को दैट इज द सेम डिफ्लेक्शन बराबर बट वो फोर्स क्या है दैट इज नथिंग बट अ फोर्स अप्लाइड एट द एंड ऑफ द कैंटीवर बीम कैन आई से लाइक दिस दैट फोर्स इज नथिंग बट जो आपका ऐसा डिफ्लेक्शन हुआ बिकॉज़ ऑफ यूडीएल वो फोर्स ने आके इसको स्ट्रेट कर दिया बराबर इसको स्ट्रेट कर दिया तो वही हो गई आपका रिएक्शन बराबर वही हो गई आपके रोलर का काम क्या है रोलर का काम है क्या वही मींस इट इज इक्विवेलेंट टू अ लोड अप्लाइड ऑन अ यू अप्लाइड ऑन अ कैंटीवर बीम एट द एंड बराबर तो ये जो डिफ्लेक्शन हुई आपकी दैट डिफ्लेक्शन कैन बी कंपनसेटेड बाय अ लोड अप्लाइड एट द एंड इसका फार्मूला क्या है बताओ फार्मूला क्या है क्या फार्मूला क्या है आपका अगर आप एक कैंटीवर लिया और आपने लोड लगाया फार्मूला क्या है इसका डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू W L Q upon three E I डाल दो delta equal to W L Q upon three E I बना समझ रहे हैं this is the deflection due to U D L and this is the deflection compensated by the point load at the end of the beam so that both the deflection are same that is nothing but equal to the reaction अब मैं इसको reaction W नहीं लेने लूँगा मैं क्या लूँगा इसको reaction आ because अभी वो force क्या है अब जो U D L होती है वो W लेती है ये फोर्स ये आपका यूडियल नहीं है ये आपका रिएक्शन है बराबर ये जो फोर्स में बोल रहा था तब से वो क्या रहेगा आपका रिएक्शन तो ये वापस आप अगर हम रोलर बना दें यहां पे और जो भी आपका रिएक्शन है वो ये हुआ क्लियर है ना इक्वेट कर दो W L रेस्ट टू 4 अपॉन A T I इज इक्वल टू R L क्यूब अपॉन 3 E I बराबर उड़ा दो बस क्या रहा है आपका रिएक्शन निकाल रहा है अपने को ये L क्यूब हट गया बच क्या रहा है R इक्वल टू 3 w n by k एकदम सिंपल ऑप्शन क्या है एक नंबर बच्चा स्टिल अगर आपको डाउट रहेगा सीधा कॉल कर लेना मेरे कांटेक्ट नंबर ऑलरेडी हर एक वीडियोस में है सीधा ये सब मतलब सर ये सब में मुझे डाउट है व्हाट्सएप भी कर सकते हो आप उसके सीधा स्नैप निकाल के आप मुझे भेज देना कि यार सर ये सब में मुझे ये डाउट है आइदर आई विल कॉल बैक यू और आई विल मैसेज यू टू द व्हाट्सएप नो नीड टू वरी अबाउट इस पे कुछ भी डाउट रहेगा आप सीधा कॉल कर लेना ठीक है